Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Anora here. If it's your first time stopping by on my channel, I'm called Anora. Guys, for today, I'm bringing a week cap. I want to be making a cook. So, for the week cap, I already put a plastic bag. You know, I'm using a glue gun. So, we need to first put a plastic bag to protect your mannequin. Pin to help me secure my cap while I do the gluing. So, this is the glue gun. I hope you guys can see this is the glue gun I'm using and these are the glues so you need to buy these and the gun for you to do this cap so for the cap I'm using the brown match I washed the hair so this is the color I'm using three bonds of the hair so guys without further ado let's get into our video This is how far the one bundle have come, so I'll go in now with the second bundle. So guys, I got this one to put in the front part of the of the bomb. So I will go in with my glue. I'll go in now with very easy to use the the glue gun is so easy to use. That is why I really do love it because it's really easy to use. So easy to use, you can do a week, you can do like three or four weeks and a day using this glue gun. Okay, so now guys we are at the last part of the hair so i will just put the glue around this and i glue the hair down So guys, this is the finishing look of my hair. As you can see, this is the knot. This is the finishing look. So I'm done with the hair. So let's get into the styling right now. So guys, when I'm done with making up the wig, now I will go in now and cut in the bang. So, and so now this is how the wig looks like when I'm done with it, everything. And now we just go in now and cut the bang. So in starting cutting of my bang, I always take the the middle section i go with the middle section first like for my nose i go in with with i go in with the side of my nose when cutting your bang you should use small section you should go in with small with little section so i will go with this first here and it should be straight A little bit down 
so the more you you cut the more you go a little bit when do your brown you must go in with a little session at a time you must take a little part of the hair at a time you don't need to cut it you don't need to go in at once and cut no you need to go in little at a time that is what will give you the look you're going in for so guys i'll just go in a little bit more in a kit so i'll go in now with the with the bubbles and see where and where to touch before going in with any more scissors so guys i'll just go in and hold it from behind so i can get I can make my way say so now it's much much easier video, please give the video a thumbs up give this video a huge thumbs up and please if you're a new subscriber please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of any of my video thank you guys so much for watching my video So I just have for the brown it's looking like for now this is how it's looking like but I think I'm gonna cut a little bit more because of my browns my browns are covered so I don't like my browns are covered when I put on my brown so I'm just going now cut a little bit let's go in with this tail comb and it's looking like as you can see it's all been cut off that's how it's looking like i love it when it's like this you know when i shed my hair and nothing move i know it's fine i know everything it's it's been put in place so that's how it's looking like so let me remove the elastic band now and comb the hair sorry guys this front part is a little bit darker than the back i took the wrong colors of hair This is how it looking like. I hope all of you love the hair. And please do give the video a thumbs up and please turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos when I upload another video.